What's up everybody? So there's a bit of an update in the Chester Uyghur case. If you're unfamiliar with his case, check out the amazing HBO documentary, The Murders at Starved Rock. It is incredible and it is truly a very interesting story. Now the news is they are supposed to get the DNA results back on August the 1st. Of course, this was supposed to come back a few months ago, but got delayed until August 2022. And an article posted on shawlocal.com, which I will link in the description below, so you can go have a view for yourself. Now that is a subscription-based website, but uh, you know, you gotta support the news, right? So it states that Chester Uyghur has a court date on August the 1st and Chester's lawyer states they should have the DNA results back from the Starved Rock murder case on that day. It states all of the DNA results are supposed to be backed by the end of July. Today is July 30th, so it's the end of the month, uh, tomorrow being the 31st, and the first will be Monday. So we're just a couple of days away now from hopefully finding out those DNA results. Now, Chester was paroled in 2019 after serving six decades in prison for a crime that he states he did not commit. Now, last fall, the fall of 2021, Chester Weger and his legal team uh, got approved to test multiple pieces of evidence from the crime scene. That, that Now, that crime scene, like six decades ago, that crime scene was in 1960. Those items were then transferred from the county sheriff's office in early December. I did a, So I did a couple videos on this before, and a lot of people have asked when the DNA results are going to be in. Um, we didn't have an exact date earlier. All they said was August 2022. So now it looks like August 1st, 2022 will be the date. And I'm extremely interested to see the results of this DNA. Chester got paroled in 2019 and has since been fighting to completely clear his name. He states that he was wrongfully convicted he states he did not do this crime now Chester is now in his 80s he is out of prison and could just go living about the rest of his life without worrying about any of this but he's still fighting to try and clear his name now this evidence could come back and prove that he's guilty so for him to be fighting for this testing to be done to get the results of this DNA test it leads me to believe that he actually is innocent otherwise why would you push DNA testing to be done if you did indeed do the crime you're out of prison uh, you're 80 something years old go live the rest of your life so but we will all hopefully find out on August the 1st what those results are have you checked out the documentary the murders at starved rock what did you think I thought it was fantastic go check it out it's an HBO documentary let me know what you think leave some comments below I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you again soon